about to go splash into the Cass River in Frankenmuth. This is Jeff. How you Jeff. doing? Jeff, tell me a little bit about the Amphicar, the history of it. Oh boy. And and how these uh, this things is a came 1964 to be. Amphicar, I'm not an expert. They made 3,800 of them. They have a tramp Harold motor, they call them 770s. They do seven miles an hour on the water and 70 on land. But it's uh, it's really more like a 550. It does five miles, 50 miles an hour. <laughs> Uh, 3,800, they figure it might be 500 left, you know, at one point, uh, when I looked into it, but nobody really knows, there's 300-something registered in the world, which isn't a lot of cars. Why did you want to get an Amphicar? Uh, I, I like the water, I got boats, it's the best of both. You can just pull up and pull out and keep going. It's got a Triumph Herald engine, 1147 cc's and it basically has props and it's got a four speed. They all have a fully synchronized four speeds. And on the floor, there's a shifter for the props for a forward, uh, neutral and reverse. And you just, uh, when you go into the water, you can either, if you're on a ramp that goes down, just put a neutral roll in, make sure your props are on and you just take off. If you own an Amphicar, are you a car guy or a boat guy? Or... Well, you're a car guy basically. <laughs> are you? <laughs> but you're pretty much both. I think it's the only thing with four wheels that you're required to have a life vest and a seat belt. Right? Well, that's right. Yeah, you're exactly right. And, you know, people always ask, you know, well, you know, how, how, how deep will it go? We tell them it's not a submarine. It just floats on top, you know? <laughs> One guy was asking me, does it leak? And I was giving a, a guy, an older guy, a ride. And he asked me that, does it leak? I goes, well, it's 50 years old. I said, didn't you leak a little bit when you were 50? So <laughs> It'll do 60, 65 real nice. After that, it's a bit hairy, you know, because it's got a high center of gravity. It's got the hull of a boat, exactly the opposite of a sports car, you know. <laughs> and with 45 horsepower, you know, you have to uh, be a bit conservative on your driving, you know. Yeah. Is it a little freaky the first time you drive a car into water? Look, right here you go. Yeah, I did. It's quite an attraction, isn't it? Kids love it, I know that. The adults do too, it, yeah. it, it draws a crowd. <laughs> So now this is about max speed then? Uh, it'll go a little faster. It will, okay. Not much. That's yeah. good. It's a good little ride. You can't be in a hurry. <laughs> As you can see, with the crowds gathered over here behind us, it is a, it is quite the attraction. Uh, everybody is waving, coming out to see the Amphicars because it's one of the main events here during Autofest weekend. That's the uh, aquatic That's equivalent of a burnout. It's the first time in an Amphicar for me and it's as cool as I hoped and expected it could be. Maybe even better. It's just a ton of fun. <laughs> 